Hey everyone, Grant Alexander here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm remaking this bag for my awning, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. The bag for my awning had seen better days. Due to the pandemic and supply chain issues, I couldn't find a new bag awning anywhere. The awning itself was actually in decent condition, so I decided to replace the bag myself. The first step was to tediously remove all of the stitching on the bag. I used a simple seam ripper and it took a long time. I needed to do this carefully as I wanted to use the old bag as a template to make the new bag. As I got going, things got easier as the parts were literally holding on by a thread. I ordered new material from JT's Outdoor Fabric. It's a Canadian company and they were able to sell me everything I needed to replace the bag. I'll leave a link in the description to all the materials I used. The unfortunate part about doing this bag is that I ended up needing to order 3 yards of material due to the length of the bag and I had a lot left over. I first cut it to rough dimensions to make it easier to mark and then I used an iron to hold the old bag down while I was marking. You could use any heavy object for this. After I got it all cut out, I was able to sew on the zipper. In order to hold it in place while I sewed, I used some small spring clamps. You don't see them here as I double stitched the zipper and I forgot to film the first part with all the spring clamps. This was the first time I've ever used a sewing machine and after cursing at it enough times, I actually found it quite easy to use. That being said, the corners on the bag were a bit more tricky. This was a nice introduction to sewing because I basically just replicated the old bag. Last but not least, don't forget to backstitch. The straps that are used to tie the awning up while it was being stored have also seen better days. To replace them, I used some material from a ratchet strap. To prevent fraying, I melted the ends with a lighter. Now for the most difficult part of the project, trying to get the awning attached to the bag. The awning has an aluminum piece that runs the entire length of the front, and that meant that I couldn't bend it. I needed to have enough room for both sides for an in-feed and out-feed. As you can see, I'm controlling the sewing machine pedal between my feet, and working in a position that makes chiropractors cringe. After I attached the bag to the awning, I then sewed on the Keter strip. My machine really struggled at this point, and at some points I had to help the motor along by hitting the hand wheel. The Keter strip is what allows the awning to attach to the trailer. The trailer has a piece of extruded aluminum, and the Keter strip slides into it. Last but not least, I added some seam sealer for added waterproofing. All in all, I spent about $150 Canadian redoing this bag, and I think I'll get another 5 to 10 years out of the awning. I hope you enjoyed that video where I made the bag for my awning for my trailer. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. There's going to be more videos about this trailer, as well as woodworking and DIY stuff, so I'm sure there'll be something for you to enjoy. Until next time, cheers. Have a great day.